Why would anyone want to look poor? Diba ang goal natin is to look successful, powerful, rich? But what if I told you, looking poor is actually one of the most powerful strategies you can use to build real wealth? Yes, totoo yun. And in this video, I'll share why looking simple or even looking poor is one of the smartest things you can do. Trust me, you'll want to stick around for this one. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sally. I previously worked as a registered nurse and now a full-time entrepreneur for over nine years now. And during my transition, I have studied financial freedom, building a life of your own terms, and creating a legacy. As a former nurse turned entrepreneur, I've seen it all. People trying to look rich, throwing money around to prove something. Pero, you know what? Most of those people are the ones who are still struggling. Ang irony dyan is the real wealthy people, the ones who truly have generational wealth, are often the ones na mukhang simple lang. Sila pa yung parang hindi mo aakalaing milyonaryo or even billionaire. Today, I want to talk about why keeping it simple is the key to massive success. And I'll even share a story about a friend of ours who owns several gasoline stations, has some multiple resorts, and lots of properties, but looks as simple as you and me. So let's break this down into three powerful reasons why looking poor, or at least looking simple, is important. Reason number one, it protects your wealth. So here's the story of our good friend. Let's call him Kuya Mike, who owns several gasoline stations. He has lots of real estate, including resorts and several houses. And you know what? If you see him on the street, you wouldn't even think he's wealthy. He wears plain clothes, drives a simple car, and eats in the same karinderias we all love. Karide namin yan si Kuya Mike. So kahit saan kami mapunta, game yan. Kahit saan kumain. I once asked him, Kuya Mike, bakit hindi ka magpakasosyal? Di ba dapat pinapakita mo yung yaman mo? You have more than enough money. And he just smiled and said, Eh, para saan pa? Mas safe akong ganito. Walang nag-iisip na mayaman ako. Walang naiinggit. Mas simple ang buhay. Isn't that powerful? People who constantly flaunt their wealth, yung mga flashy cars, branded clothes, and luxury items, they attract unwanted attention. At hindi lang inget, may mga scammers, thieves, and even the wrong kind of friends. Yung tipong lalapit lang sa'yo kasi alam nilang mayaman ka. Kuya Mike understands this, and that's why he keeps a low profile. Being low-key helps protect his wealth and his peace of mind. Sa mundo natin ngayon, especially with social media, everyone wants to show off, hindi ba? Kailangan may picture ka sa bagong kotse mo, or sa bagong resort mo, or sa bagong bahay mo, or sa bagong Hermes bag mo. But think about this. If people don't know how much you have, they won't try to take advantage of you. Reason number two, it builds authentic relationships. Now, let's go back to Kuya Mike. He's not just simple, he's genuine. When people meet him, they don't see the wealth. They see a down-to-earth, approachable guy. He builds real friendships with people who like him for him, not for his money. He once told me, Hindi lahat ng tao na tumutulong sa'yo o nakikisama sa'yo ay tunay. Minsan, nandyan sila kasi may kailangan sila sa'yo. The reality is, Sometimes, when people know you're wealthy, they'll treat you differently. Some might get close to you, not because they care about you, but because they see you as a resource. Pero kapag simple ka lang, walang expectations, walang hidden agenda, you get to form relationships based on who you are, not what you have. So if you're simple, people who stick around aren't there for your money. They're there because they like you, they respect you, and they value your friendship. Yun ang tunay na yaman for me. Reason number three, it keeps you focused on what matters. When you're not caught up in trying to look rich, you can focus on actually becoming rich. Let me say that again. If you're not spending all your energy on looking wealthy, you can put that energy into becoming truly wealthy. Let's be real. Having the latest luxury car or buying designer clothes every season, it drains not just your wallet but your focus. Sabi nga ni Warren Buffett, if you buy things you don't need, soon you will sell things you need. 
I've met a lot of entrepreneurs ha, na right after their first big payout, they splurge luxury cars, watches, expensive trips. Pero guess what? After a few years, bumalik sila sa pagiging broke because they spent more time looking successful than actually building success. May kilala ka bang ganon? Looking poor, or at least looking simple, keeps you grounded. It reminds you that worth isn't in the things you own, but in the skills, knowledge, and relationships you build. Now, let's go back to Kuya Mike. He's one of the most successful yet humble people I know. He doesn't care what people think about his appearance. In fact, when we talk, he always reminds me, Mas maganda yung wala kang iniisip na kailangan mong patunayan. Ang mahalaga, may oras ka sa pamilya mo at may peace of mind ka. He's not stressed about the latest trends or keeping up with others. He focuses on building his empire quietly and with intention. And now, because he didn't waste his resources on unnecessary luxuries, he has even more to pass on to his kids. What I realize is this, the more you focus on looking rich, the further you get from being actually rich. And don't get me wrong ha, hindi ko sinasabi na hindi mo dapat i-enjoy yung pera mo. Of course, we all want to reward ourselves for the hard work we've put in. We deserve that. Pero here's the trap. When you start spending just to impress others, that's when things start to go off track. Instead of building wealth, nauubos ang pera mo sa pagpapakitang gilas. I've seen it too many times. People will buy a fancy car or the latest designer bag just to look successful. Pero alam mo, the truth is, they're probably financing those luxury items and deep down, they're stressed about keeping up. They're chasing a lifestyle that doesn't actually build their wealth. And trust me, I've been there too. So, I can relate. Yung mga regrets ko dati, I should have been smarter with my money. I should have studied financial literacy earlier. I should have invested earlier. And if you're watching this, and if you're in your 20s, mag-start ka na. I've been around successful people long enough to know that real wealth is quiet. It's the kind that lets you sleep at night without worrying about what others think. You know what the best part is? When you let go of that pressure to impress, ang sarap ng feeling. You can breathe. You can focus on what really matters. Growing your wealth, investing in yourself, and making smarter decisions. Kasi in the end, it's not about the fancy things you buy, but about the freedom you create. The ones who truly get it, like Kuya Mike, know that keeping it simple allows you to reinvest and grow your money over time. They're not trying to prove anything to anyone, and that's why they're winning the wealth game. So don't get caught up in the flashy lifestyle. Trust me, it's overrated. The real flex, it's financial freedom. It's being able to enjoy your life without the pressure to keep up with everyone else. So instead of buying that next luxury item just to show off, ask yourself, how can I make this money work for me instead? That's where the real power is. Keep it simple, keep it smart, and watch your wealth grow. (laughs) And that, my friend, is the kind of rich you want to be. Now that you know the power of keeping it simple and looking poor, let me tell you this. Success isn't just about money you make. It's about the legacy you leave behind. And if you want to learn more about creating real wealth without wasting it, make sure to watch my next video where I talk about 7 boring businesses that are actually high profit. Trust me, you don't want to miss out.